hard that day. Yeah. 
Underway. Uh, as the intro said, my name is Carl Schmidt. I'm with ABC7 and Plus Life, and I'd like to welcome you all here for AIDS Walk Los Angeles 2023 in West Hollywood. Give yourselves a hand for just getting out and getting out. Okay, we are going to bring up our countdown clock to the walk. Once this hits zero, we'll be getting the walk together. But first, I want to take a moment to thank you all for showing up for your community and showing up for health equity. AIDS Walk LA was the first walk to fight HIV and AIDS in the world and it happened on the streets of Los Angeles. Yeah, you know, to be blunt, when this walk began, contracting HIV was essentially a death sentence. So I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge all of those who couldn't be and aren't with us today. Since that original walk in 1985, hundreds of thousands of people just like you and their supporters have raised more than $94 million to combat HIV and AIDS. Yes, exactly. So these funds are a vital lifeline. They sustain APLA health programs and services, benefiting more than 18,000 individuals throughout Los Angeles County. I am one of those individuals. I am a person who is living, or maybe I should say now thriving, with HIV. And it's because of folks like you. I was diagnosed 15 years ago, uh, and when I was, I thought that was it. When they said, you're HIV positive, I felt like somebody put handcuffs on me and shackles, and my life was done. I was damaged goods. Who'd want this? 27 years old. Cut to only five years ago, I spoke openly and publicly about my HIV status with great support from my family at ABC7 here in Los Angeles. And I was shocked at the outpouring of support and love that I was shown from complete strangers, not just here in LA and West Hollywood, but around the world. And then someone reached out to me and they said, do you know about you equals you? And I said, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know what that means. Just by sound of applause, if you know what U equals U is, just clap your hands and make some noise for me. Well, that's great. It, 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 it makes me sad that not everybody clapped and cheered because this is something that changed my life. Undetectable equals untransmittable means that if you're someone who is living with HIV and you get the virus so controlled that it becomes undetectable in your system, you present zero risk to a partner. You cannot transmit the virus. That's big news. And when I got that news, the handcuffs came off, the shackles came off, and I got to start living my life again. I got to start looking in the mirror and not seeing a damaged, broken person, but somebody who was capable of loving and living and thriving the way I want to and the way that every human being is entitled to. It takes one tiny little tablet 
Most of you probably can't see it. This tiny little pill, all I do is take that pill every single morning with my multivitamin and I'm undetectable. I present zero risk. And I realize that unfortunately, I'm one of the lucky few who can get this pill. So many people don't have the same equal access that I do. Health equity is a right. Health care is a right. It shouldn't be a privilege. That's right. And by all of you here today, showing up and hitting the streets of West Hollywood for AIDS Walk LA, you're helping us spread that message. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for being here. I'd like to bring up on stage now, uh, someone I admire greatly. He has done so many wonderful things in the fight against HIV and AIDS in this city and around the world. Please welcome APLA Health's Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Craig E. Thompson. Good morning, AIDS Walk Los Angeles. It's, it's great to see all so many beautiful people out there on such a beautiful Sunday morning in WeHo. My name is Craig Thompson, and it's been my great privilege to lead a team of amazing, compassionate professionals at APLA Health for over 25 years. We are absolutely thrilled to be back in West Hollywood for the second year and the 20th year in total, and to have all of you join us in person for AIDS Walk Los Angeles. APLA Health began in 1983 as AIDS Project Los Angeles, just two years after the reporting of the first cases of what came to be known as AIDS. Those cases were reported right here in Los Angeles by a young physician at UCLA, Dr. Michael Gottlieb. Dr. Gottlieb is here today and he continues to practice in HIV and AIDS as a physician at APLA Health. For over 40 years, we have led the fight first literally for the lives of people living with HIV, and now in our efforts to end the epidemic in our lifetime. Today, APLA provides medical, dental, and mental health care to the LGBTQIA communities from eight sites across Los Angeles County, including providing HIV specialty care and comprehensive support services. We also operate the largest food bank program for people with HIV in the country. Shout out to NOLP, absolutely. Our mission, as Carl said, is health equity. And our goal is to ensure that all queer people, regardless of race, ethnicity, income, insurance status, or where they live in the county, all have access to comprehensive, high quality, culturally competent medical and support services. APLA Health recently merged with the Alliance for Housing and Healing, the leading AIDS housing organization in Los Angeles County thereby expanding our commitment to address the homelessness crisis in Los Angeles, and specifically the intersections of housing instability, HIV disease, and poverty. In addition, we're leading the efforts to end the epidemic here in Los Angeles with both our direct services and our advocacy, including our HIV testing, our PrEP and PEP services, STD screening and treatment, and through our out here sexual health services, which you're gonna hear about in a, mu in a moment or two. I would now like to introduce representatives from our hosts and longtime partners in the fight against HIV in Los Angeles County, the city of West Hollywood. West Hollywood has been a true leader in the fight against AIDS since the very beginning both by providing resources to support city residents and now with its efforts to end HIV and AIDS in the city. From the mayor, from the city of West Hollywood, Mayor Seppi Schein, Mayor Pro Tem John Erickson, Council Member Chelsea Byers, Council Member John Heilman, and Council Member Warren Meister. Here they come, the whole crew. You're up. Thank you so much, Craig. Hi, everyone! Are you excited to be here today? I want to hear louder, yes! Yes! Wonderful. I am the mayor for the city of West Hollywood. My name is Seppi Shine. I want to introduce my colleagues, Mayor Pro Tem John Erickson, Councilwoman Lauren Meister, Councilwoman Chelsea Byers, 
Councilman John Heilman. Today is a good day. Thank you all for coming out to participate in AIDS Walk LA. We are so grateful to have repartnered with AIDS Walk LA for the second year in a row, bringing AIDS Walk back to our city uh, where you belong. Uh, listen, an estimated 1.2 million people in the United States had HIV at the end of 2021. About 13% that are HIV positive are still unaware, I mean, you know, we about 13% are H HIV positive, but we are yet unaware that that equates to 153,500 uh, people. 36,136 people received an HIV diagnosis in the United States. But here's some good news. The annual number of new diagnoses decreased 7% from 2017 to 2021. And that can likely be attributed to the use of PrEP, but also to your support for AIDS Walk LA and to those that support ending HIV AIDS for good. We in the city of West Hollywood have been committed to doing that, and I know you're committed and that's why you're here. Unfortunately, Minority communities, women of color, and trans people continue to be disparately impacted by HIV. They're the smallest part of the population by group and yet experience some of the highest rates of HIV infection. Therefore, we need to ask ourselves, and I say this as a lesbian woman of color, how can it be that 40 years plus into this epidemic, Minorities are still lagging when it comes to accessing preventative therapies such as PrEP. Do you find that acceptable? No. Do you find that acceptable? No. I don't. So, and speaking of PrEP, I need you all to pay attention to this. There was a bill in the state legislature this year introduced by our good friend, Senator Scott Weiner from San Francisco, SB 339, which we co-sponsored in the city of West Hollywood, but it's now dead. It would have made it easier to access PrEP. So I need you all to tune in to APLA's public policy team or Equality California's and join us in the fight in 2024 so that when Senator Weiner reintroduces the PrEP bill again, we all work with him to ensure that the bill gets approved. Everyone who needs and wants PrEP should be able to get it. No questions asked. <laughs> While HIV used to be considered a death sentence, today's treatments make it possible for people living with HIV to live longer and healthier lives. And it's never too late to start treatment. HIV can happen to anyone, regardless of assigned sex at birth, gender identity, or sexual orientation but HIV doesn't have to change who you are. In the beginning of the HIV epidemic, there were no effective medicines for HIV, and the idea of living a long life with HIV was a distant dream. Today, HIV treatment can help people living with AIDS and HIV live longer, healthier lives by reducing viral loads. That is why it is so crucial that we encourage our friends to get tested, and why we must make treatment accessible for everyone who needs it. This moment allows us the opportunity to change this disease and how it affects our community for every single generation moving forward. Let us take the strength and support we feel today and channel it towards fighting for the future we know is possible and we know we all deserve. We can and must be the generation that expands to expands access to treatment for all, puts an end to the stigmas and stereotypes associated with HIV and AIDS, and finally, finally allows people everywhere to exist without fear from this disease. Have a wonderful walk. Thank you for being here.
Thank you, Seppi, and thank you, City of West Hollywood, not only for your support, but for those amazing and true remarks and also for the challenge to all of us about health equity and ending the epidemic in Los Angeles County.
Pray for Dr. Chang, okay? Nice. Alright, well, let me know when I'm on. Like, give me like the. Oh. 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 Like this. Hey, no. It's an interview. Good morning to everyone. We are here in West Hollywood at the AIDS Walk. You know, it's super important to be part of the community and to give Dylan back Siegel. and, you know, come together and support a good cause. Dylan Siegel. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir.